Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Perry and I'm excited to talk to you about a program that we highly recommend within our office called Grammarly. Now Grammarly comes in two flavors. It comes in free. Uh, free has a whole bunch of options in there which you're gonna use day in day out and you'll love and you won't get rid of it. Premium has some little um, other aspects which you might wanna look at and I'll touch on those in a brief second but they're the two different flavors that it comes in and you don't need to worry about jumping into the premium one straight away. So what is Grammarly? Grammarly is a, uh, it's a punctuation, spelling, structure, all those spell checker. It's just all of those things put into one little program that works so nicely within Chrome and within Microsoft Word and Outlook. And where we find it most useful is in Chrome and Outlook because these are, these are our two main areas that we write things in um, on a daily basis. And what Grammarly allows you to do is it will give you uh, everything that you start typing, similar to exactly what the tagline says here. It, it will become clear, effective, and mistake-free. Um, not only that, but you'll start to learn from your mistakes better than you would have using the, um, the built-in Microsoft um, uh, spell, correct, spell checker. So let me just jump into it. Here we have the Grammarly website. Um, if you wanna add Grammarly into Chrome, it's pretty simple. Go to the website, hit the add to Chrome button, follow the prompts, and then boom, it's added into Chrome as you can see here. Um, and then you can start using the benefit or getting the benefits of Grammarly straight away. If you want to add it into Microsoft Word and Outlook, just scroll to the very bottom of the page, go to products, Grammarly for Microsoft Office, and follow the prompts once again on this page to download and install um, the software. Now you will need to sign up for a free account, um, but it is worthwhile doing that as well because you need to do that um, so you can actually uh, set up the software on your local machine. Okay, so now that Grammarly is installed, let's go and jump into Outlook and have a look at the actual add-ins. So here, if I click a new email, and if I start typing things in, it's gonna give me in real time punctuation checking and things like that. And now what Grammarly is actually checking is it's checking grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, style, and contextual spelling. So that's a magnitude of different things, critical issues that it's checking for us um, in the free version. So rather than me type saying, I've got a sentence here that I wanna just dump in that has some errors. And once I've dumped it into Grammarly, Grammarly is checking all of that. It's checking the um, all those critical issues that we've got turned on. And we can turn these things off if we, we, we don't wanna see those and those corrections will, will disappear. So if I turn them back on, it will, it will show those corrections, which is pretty cool. So to get rid of all these um, corrections that we need to fix up, we can just go through and select the ones we, we, we want. Um, if there's something we're not sure about, if we click in the white area, you will see a drop down, and then it will give you a bit more of an understanding to why that occurred. And if it's not a misspelled word, you can actually add it to your own personal dictionary. Um, the other cool thing is the section for checking punctuation. Um, so punctuation is very important. So here we have uh, the set, the section here says also, and it's actually missing a comma. So it will give us a reason for that. We can click on more and get a better understanding of uh, why that is actually missing. And then if we're happy, we can just click on the also button and that will, um, that will fix it up. So that is Grammarly in a nutshell, guys. That is an overview of what it is. And we love it because it allows us to write better. It allows us to learn from our mistakes in a different way, in a more graphical way um, than what you would from using the uh, Microsoft Spell Checker where you're just used to right clicking, choosing the correction and you move on, you don't learn from it. But what we have found by using Grammarly is that after a while, our writing capabilities and our writing style um, has actually improved um, a, a decent amount. So I'll definitely recommend you guys to jump in, check out Grammarly, check out the um, Grammarly uh, extension in Chrome. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment in the comment section. If you like this video, go ahead and share it around um, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks.